hello guys welcome back so as of now we have created couple of resources here so we created folders subfolders then we created project inside subfolder then we enable apis using the terraform and then we'll create a network and subnetwork now we are going ahead and we are going to create one one compute instance inside this network we created okay so uh, we can quickly go to our vs code so we already created network subnetwork here so let me go to the compute so we already have main.tf where we enable the apis now we'll create compute instance here so again i will go to terraform registry documentation and i will look for compute instance and i will again pick a very basic code from this documentation okay so i will just open google compute instance okay so here is google compute instance and i will pick a very basic compute instance here so i will copy this block okay and i don't want service account block separately okay so i will use this default only so let me check if i can create separate service account okay so i will just create one okay i'm not creating any service account let me remove this block okay let me keep it as a null and rest of the things let me keep as it is so network i don't want default network so i want a network we created so let me go to the vpc network okay and i will give this as a vpc hyphen network and let me see if everything is fine i'll try to execute this code so i already called my compute block here so i'll directly go and try to run the code so let me verify a few things here i think project id is missing so let me add the project id so one thing to remember so here if there is no project id in resources it will look for the provider block so now what i will do i will just put the default project id so if i am not mentioning for any resource it will just look for this provider block exp prj dev hyphen zero zero one so now my code will work even though the project id is not there okay so let me execute terraform init terraform plan okay so we got an error for service account scopes is required uh, let me go and copy the scopes and let me put inside service account block yeah here let me put it and let me try to execute again okay it is executing now let's see okay now it is creating one computing in instance so let me do terraform apply now let me go to the compute instance page so api we already enabled before creating our network in terraform so currently there is no instance as of now so let me see and here we got error so subnet is missing so let me go here because if default is specified it will pick the subnetwork automatically 
we, we did not specify so we have to give the sub network name so sub network name i can copy from this network block and this was our sub network so i'm just following the basic terraform so if you are developing the large modules you have to use whatever the modules you created for networks you have to fetch output from them then you have to give the name of the network and sub network from there so this is just a basic terraform coding i am doing here just for beginner so let's go and check now if there is any vm instance getting created not yet yes and again we got an error what is saying e2 medium local ssd feature not compatible where we have mentioned local ssd let me okay so this is not required we don't want local ssd this is very costly feature and i will again do terraform apply now it is creating let's see Yeah, and the instance is getting created here so what test instance with a vpc network which we created okay and created so let's see now okay, so the instance vm instance is created now now this vm instance is created with external ip i don't want external ip let me see if i can comment this block and what will happen if i execute again so we'll execute terraform plan again okay now it is removing my external ip so let me execute apply now and we'll see if it will work or it will give an error so let me refresh So it is still there. Yeah, now you could see now VM is completely private VM with internal IP and external IP is now removed. So you have to read documentation to make the configuration that now if I'm working for the first time, I don't know how to create with a like private IP only and remove external IP. So this block is used for that purpose. If you are giving this block, it will create an external IP. So now let me just format document. Okay. And in this way we created a simple virtual machine as well using the Terraform. So that's it for this video. Next video we'll see how we can create other resources using the Terraform. So thank you for watching this video.